Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on Arrow Season 6. So just over 24 hours from now, we will have episode 15 of this season of Arrow hitting our screens, which will include the return of fan-favorite character Roy Harper, otherwise known as Arsenal. That episode does look pretty cool and will feature some more Richard Dragon or Ricardo Diaz, which I, you know, it's all I really want to see, to be completely honest. Well, I do want to see a lot more of Roy as well. I'm conflicted. Damn Arrow. But anyway, we aren't going over any episode 15 stuff. We will see that tomorrow. I'm sure we can be patient up until then. What we will be going over in this video has to do with an episode that we won't really be seeing and won't be out for, I think, around six weeks, uh, I think that is, because Arrow will be going on a two-week break after tomorrow's, or tomorrow's episode, yeah, might I say. And this episode, as you can tell by the title, is episode 19. So this should get you hyped, even though you might forget all the information that we go over, seeing that we are so far away from the episode itself. Anyway, so episode 19 had been revealed to be entitled Enter the Dragon. I think that was maybe a week or two ago that uh, that title was revealed. However, it is now being reported that the title for this episode is a tad shorter, one word shorter to be exact, and that the new title is just simply The Dragon. The episode is being directed by Gordon Verhul, hopefully that's how you pronounce that, who has directed two episodes in the past for Arrow. One episode in season four, which was Sins of the Father, which some of you may remember as the episode in which, I'm pretty sure, at least from memory, that Oliver and Malcolm have that fight where Oliver cuts Malcolm's hand off, and then the League of Assassins is disbanded after that. And then he also directed an episode in season five, which was simply Vigilante, and that title is self-explanatory as to what went down in that episode. So the information coming out regarding this episode is actually really interesting. I was like, wow, when I heard it. And the big, I guess the big talking point is that they are only a couple of days away from wrapping up filming for this episode and no one, I repeat, no one from either Team Arrow or New Team Arrow has filmed for the episode as of yet, which does suggest that there will be little to no vigilante showing up in this episode at all. This episode is set to be a very heavy Ricardo Diaz or Dragon episode, which would explain the title for the episode. So it's a pretty obvious one there. But it is also going to involve a decent amount of Laurel from Earth 2 or Black Siren, whichever uh, name you want to call her. Obviously, at the end of the last episode, that being episode 14, we did see Black Siren pop out of those woods, injured and telling that random dude that she had been kidnapped around two years ago, which would line up to the real Earth 1 Laurel's death through the hands of Damien Dark. Obviously, we will have to watch episode 15 tomorrow and beyond up until episode 19 to learn all the finer details around that. But you would have to think that Laurel could still be keeping this charade up to this point and still be acting as Earth 1 Laurel to the public. It is important to remember that Dragon still would have Laurel in his mind as well as someone like Anatoly as well as they were involved with Caden James and all of that and could be seen as a loose end by Dragon. We still don't know if Black Siren portraying herself as Earth 1 Laurel is her plan, like that's what she wants to do and it's like her road to redemption of sorts and a somewhat normal life. Or if it is all part of Dragon's plan, like he said, you know, this is what you should be doing. We won't talk for a while, but you do this and then we'll meet up later. Maybe that's a part of his plan, or this could be bad news for Laurel down the line. If she's going away from Dragon and uh, doing her own thing and he maybe doesn't agree with it. But as I said, there is still a lot to be revealed in the episodes leading up to episode 19. But I think it would be the safe move to assume both of these happening as they do seem like realistic options. So expect both of these to happen so you're not too surprised, I guess. Part of this episode will be set in Bloodhaven, which will sound familiar to many Nightwing and DC Comics fans in general, as it is the city he is mostly attached to. We have had Bloodhaven name dropped a handful of times on Arrow. I think we have only been there once, and even then, I don't even actually think we've been there. I'm just going... I'm just like predicting and thinking back and I'm just going to assume that we've been there once. Like I can't really remember if we have fully been there or not, if it's just been name dropped. But if we haven't, then this will be the first time for the show, which will be really cool. I actually was looking it up and I don't think we've actually been to Bloodhaven. There's just been multiple name drops. So actually going there will be really cool. What goes down in Bloodhaven is still unknown, but if Dragon and Laurel are there together, then you have to think that it isn't going to end up good for whoever they are encountering while they are there. Uh, but yeah, I can't wait to go to Bloodhaven. I'm interested to see any like Nightwing references or just like nods to there being like a vigilante in that city. That'd be pretty cool. Katie Cassidy, who obviously plays Laurel, did post this on her Instagram story, which is her in the same wig, I'm pretty sure at least, that we have seen Black Siren rock a few times this season. Whenever she goes undercover, she is sporting this wig in order to keep the Laurel side of her hidden. So the fact that she is wearing this does suggest that she would be going somewhere, you know, where Laurel Lance would be possibly known to the people there. So, you know, it's once again hinting that it's going to be Laurel and Dragon teaming up and uh, doing some bad stuff. But uh, yeah, she's wearing this wig while filming. So this further proves that it's probably going to be a very heavy Laurel 
and Ricardo Diaz episode. But speaking of Ricardo Diaz, seeing as the episode is simply called The Dragon, you would think it is heavily focused on him, but not just on present day. Not just present day Ricardo Diaz, will we get flashbacks, like focusing on like how he got to where he is because if those that for those that don't know i've brought this up in previous videos where say dragon was a topic in that video the past of his character is that he was like wrongfully imprisoned and was in jail for a while and then was found to be you know not guilty and was released and was given uh you know money like a payment settlement because of his wrongful imprisonment which is basically how he was able to get to where he is now I don't know if they've changed that for the show or not, but going into this season, that was the character, uh, the character's description. So I have to wait and see what goes on there. If they do flashbacks, I'm assume that's what's going to be about, like him getting wrongfully imprisoned. Maybe he's trying to get revenge on the people that uh, maybe framed him or something like that, or maybe he already did that and he did that like maybe like a year ago, and then it led up to this point in, in our season six where he's, uh, you know. Uh, controlling uh, Star City, essentially. So I'm interested to see if there's flashbacks. I hope there is, just because I do like when a villain is fleshed out. They just don't say it through words. I would rather see it for myself. And, you know, some people were happy that the flashbacks ended with Arrow. I was like, sort of, okay, it's time to end them. But I still love seeing some flashbacks. So whenever there's flashbacks in an episode, it makes me smile a bit because it's just something that's so, like, closely connected to Arrow. So I want to see some Richard Dragon flashbacks, to be completely honest. Now, even though this is limited information, as you easily would be able to tell from what I've gone over in this video, it is still enough to get myself, and I'm pretty sure a decent amount of you, hyped for this episode, even if it is just me mentioning that we're going to Bloodhaven, just because I don't think we've been there before, so I'm sure a lot of people would be excited for that, and also if you're a big Laurel fan, I'm sure you'd be excited for an episode where basically she is a focus, and if you've been looking forward to more Rich Dragon, then obviously you're going to be looking forward to this one as well. Now, episode 18 of this season is a big Oliver episode. So essentially the whole episode is Oliver. I think Stephen Amell said he's in like 90 to 95% of the scenes, uh, which are basically if he was in 95% of them, that means like one scene he wouldn't be in. So the big rumor is, was flashbacks. He ruled them out, Stephen Amell. So there's basically only other, only other uh, so there's only one other option as to what be, could be happening in this episode. And that is that Oliver is like drugged, almost vertigo style, like we saw in previous seasons where he starts to hallucinate things from the past and his history, because we know that Oliver's going to be getting into different suits, such as like the season one to three suit, the season four suit, and then well, the suit that he has now, I guess. And then we know that Adrian Chase is meant to be coming back as well. Um, they're meant to be in like the Queen Mansion as well. So he's obviously going to be hallucinating if it's not flashbacks. I, I did question Stephen Amell from revealing that it wasn't flashbacks. You just should have just like ignored it because now everyone knows it's like hallucinations or like some sort of drugging, uh, probably through whatever Richard Dragon is supplying. So... That's what you should expect in episode 18, like a hallucination episode, which should be pretty cool, especially if we get Adrian Chase back. And um, yeah, and just like a PSA to people that um, are watching Arrow, but might not be enjoying the season, wait till the end of the season. Season five of Arrow, up until this point, I think episode 15 was basically the same quality, essentially for the most part, that uh, this season is. Like apart from Prometheus, if you took him out, everything else was basically the same. Like Prome Prometheus just kept you wondering what was going on there because he was still masked at that point. So you're still guessing his identity, but really it was episode 15 of Arrow season five, which pushed that season forward. Once Adrian Chase was revealed to be Prometheus and what he was doing in the mayor's office and as like in the skin of Adrian Chase, what he was doing. So wait until the end of the season before you completely judge a season. I always say that. Uh, I'm, I'm the same with Flash this season. I'm even the same with Supergirl this season. Wait till the season's over before you completely judge it. Just because I think it's unfair when a story's unfinished to completely judge it. Um, because usually things that happen in the end tie it all together just like last season did. So give it time. Just be patient. And just enjoy what you're watching. But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could drop a like on the video to show your support. Let me know in the comment section down below. Are you looking forward to this episode? If so, what are you looking forward to most? And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you later, guys. Goodbye.